right. Hello, hello, Aquariuses. This is your second monthly message for June. I have some new energy coming through for you guys. So, as always, take it how it resonates. I throw out different times, dates, uh, different stuff like that. So, uh, also your rising sign, moon sign. Uh, you can listen to those videos. Um, Libra and Scorpio coming through really strongly. I uh, also saw... 202 actually like all these february birthdays um in particular but it started at 202 and 220 hmm um so all the twos interesting enough uh very very okay um when i was uploading your videos as well so um i was noticing uh libra energy um I started at like 10.07 and went to, even then into Scorpionic. So I also saw 10.25, 11.11. So I saw 11.11, uh, 11.12 and 11.10. Um, interesting enough. So, uh, you know, sometimes I bring up different things that pop up in the news and I give some different names uh, for that. The weirdest thing is I was getting like, this is a song that didn't play. Uh, did I ever tell you? Did I tell you guys White Snake? And here I go again on my own. <laughs> okay. Um, something popped in the news on the Nancy Grace. Um, this is a this is a different type of predator. So there's a young girl, Alyssa, doing her shaking her stuff. You know, doing her TikToks. And she lied about her age. So Capricorn, uh, she said 115. Interesting though, apparently she was like, she is the the person who is uh, soliciting and doing uh, sexual stuff with minors. So I also got the weird thing, like Kendrick Lamar and Like Us, Not Like Us, uh, about Drake. Ooh. Uh, I believe he's Aquarius, right? Maybe or Gemini. Gemini was going through too. Um, then the Scorpio. Uh, so I got a little Red Hot Chili Poppers and Anthony Kiedis, Chad uh, Flea. Uh, ooh, Chad Fleas. Uh, sorry, I, I'm just a play on words or something. Um, and then also Aerosmith and Steven Tyler. Um that reason scorpionic they're for me as well and uh eat the rich okay then we got some imagine dragons and believer okay um wow uh the zephyr song by red hot chili peppers gonna get i don't know what this is about but and then the, the Believer song, Imagine Dragon. So I wonder if the animals and stuff that might be coming through or the dragon messages for the month of May. I pulled a lot of dragons. Um, I do have, in particular, coming up into the future, another... Uh, oh, of course, I used... I, I brought up the last unicorn and Peter Beagle um, for your, your monthly or your birthday energy even. Um... And there is a new, uh, a new book came out that's about the dragons. I'm afraid you have dragons. I so because I am a fan of that. I, I have no clue what the story is about other than you know the dragons, um, and by Peter Beagle. And um, I was kind of guided to get in another. I think I have a plenty, right? I totally have plenty of dragon, um, oracle and tarot. But there was a new one that was spotlighted. Also something in the gratitude. Weird. Ratatouille is popping in my head. How weird. And the Ratatouille, that show? Weird. Okay. Let's just jump into the cards. Okay. So there was one that I kept seeing, right? And I never did read it. So if you did not watch the first one, check the description. I will do my best to link these in. Um, wow. Wow. There was warnings of, you know, being led astray and really to focus on your own health and well-being, right? Um, 
and potential of birth. <laughs> there was this completion and the morning meeting, which was interesting. So, but nucleus, which was 42 or 24, I see 1217. Wow. So there is some Sagittarian too. There was a lot of Taurus as well. And maybe Cancerian dancing through eternity. Oh, wow. 59. What? Hmm. You may have forgotten to acknowledge the value of friendship and love. Complacency threatens to dissipate what you hold most dear. Act to revive the relationship and rekindle the spark of the sacred dance of life. That one came through in a different video. Um, Dancing through eternity. That might have been the Capricorn one, actually. There could be Aries or Taurus. Well, Leo, Sagittarius. Interesting, okay. Um, really? I don't know why. Oh, and then we got 42. Crossing over. All of a sudden, that show with John Edwards and crossing over. 9-5. Oh, so there's some Virgo. Once again, weird synchronicities, 5-9 and 9-5. And the fours. 40. Uh, I want to go to 42. And transmutation, dynamic change, 44. So Libra, 103 and 1003. There was also like 1008, 1006, and Capricorn as well. Um... 44, so maybe Aries as well, or Leo. Okay, I want to see why this nucleus. This is the core issues. Ah, 99. This is a releasing and letting it go. So I kept seeing the atom, atom. Uh, okay, um, that one popped up for you guys twice. So I never ended up reading it in the first video, so I want to start with that. But I see, like, look at that. Like, I saw the feathers, a bird, I feel like... The messenger didn't get through all the way. It could have been scorpionic. I'm also seeing Virgo, Aries, 6, 9 even, uh, Gemini. It reversed. It kept coming through a reverse. So it says you feel hemmed in, unable to move away from the cycle that surrounds you. The paralyzing effect of the situation has you wondering whether you should seek psychic refuge or avoid the situation altogether. This may be a wise decision for a short time. But gather your courage and resources during this period for you will soon be required again to move into action and take control of your life. Get some rest and prepare for the next round. Ah, the next round. All right, so whatever that is. So this is a completion of something. There was also the nonagon, which shows a completion. So as well, take it how it resonates during what time of the, you know, June that you get the message um, but also you can come back and around again and listen at different times throughout the month of June. Okay. I feel like I brought up even the angel numbers. I think I might start with that. I might get tarot and they'll probably, there will be a third video too. So let's just jump into, uh, the angel numbers and finding inspiration. So 3003, the new moon, right? So I did your very first one today is six, seven. As I start this one. I might read it out of the book too. These angel number oracle. Um, yeah, the 55. The, these are new um, Libra Sagittarian energy potentially pulling in with this or for you, the messages even, or if those are people in your life you're dealing with or you have that in your chart. Okay. And the living light energy. All right. Aquarius is for June. What are the angel numbers that are coming through? 24, 24. Unconditional love. Oh my gosh. Ecosahedron, the triangle, unconditional love, two, four, six, six as well, right? A 12. Uh, so that's a three. Communication, no way, 1221, symbiosis. This one, wow. So we're gaining a lot of triangles coming through. And they did fall down here. So I want to pull it 1958, 1221, or one, two. Sagittarian energy, how crazy. I'm all, how crazy. But maybe even the solstice. Why is the symbiosis? It was in reverse. Mm. They both fell right here. So I'm going to take those first. And we're going to see why. So these do read a reversals with these angel numbers. 1221. I open it up to 420. All right. What good comes out of standing still, right? There's nothing wrong with planting deep, stable roots. But everything in nature continues to grow. To stretch toward greater heights, nourish your soul. Break free of stagnation. Take the risk. Your potential is limitless. 
Uh, good health and daily wellness habits. Turning over a new leaf, 68 and 69. So maybe on the 8th and the 9th. Freedom from past restraints and progression and change. Every cell in my body is peaceful and calm. All right. That's what I opened the book up to. I like to share that. I also saw 1010. The best decisions are made from a place of peace and stability. 1144. 104, 105. That's even divine uh, intervention. See, there was even like a sense of wanting to just feel calm and peaceful. Okay, 1221. In reverse, it says toxic one-sided relationship, not feeling loved or appreciated. Lack of support from others and self-sabotage. 107. So, got a lot of... That, that, both of those are Capricorn energies. Communication, the eight even. Three... Three, six, eight. Wow. And Gemini energy could potentially have some Libra energy too. This is a reminder from your angels that you are not alone. They're reaching out, holding your hand and guiding you through this period of conflict. You need to let go of any conflicts or burdens that are hurting your inner peace. This may be a moment to extend compassion, not only to yourself, but to others in your life. Your inner light is beautiful and it should be shared with others. And unconditional love. So someone feeling like there was something toxic, right? You know, one-sided relationships. So the balance of give and take wasn't there or something, right? And know that, that you do have support during this challenging time. That's the shift of energy. Unconditional love. Unconditional love without restraints or conditions, right? It's about uh, loving someone when they're not always being lovable or when, you know. But you've also got a unconditional love for yourself, too. Okay, 24, 24. Oh, 30, 03 kept uh, spotlighting 121, Aquarius, and 30, 03. Your creativity levels are positively surging. Your focus right now needs to be on where and how you express all that abundant, inspired energy. If you don't have an outlet for artistic expression already, seek one that suits your style. If you have a beautiful, unique mind, share it with the world. Abundance of creative energy. Feeling supported in your ventures, though. Speaking your truth. Actualizing your dreams. The affirmation is, I am creating my dream life. Mm. Okay. You've got this. Don't believe us? <laughs> we got 11, 8, 11, 9, 118, 119, the 6, 6, the new moon. More like you don't believe in yourself. You need to tap into your confidence and feel how fabulous and strong you are. You may be a bit anxious or worried about a particular problem right now, but just remember you are practically overflowing with powerful potential. Accept the possibility of disappointment and just do it anyway. Now is the time to let yourself really shine. All about letting yourself shine. So with this time, it was always about, it was like maybe taking on too much, always feeling there's a burden or uh, always running behind schedule. Huh. Invoking infinite and there's the completion. So I feel like some of this might be at the end of the month even. Excess... Assessing your goals and your strengths here. Opening up to infinite love, balance, compassion and joy, and self-assurance. I refuse to let fear of failure hold me back. That's your affirmation. In reverse, because I came sideways, I want to share both. Feeling hurt or neglected. Fear of disappointment. Yeah, making yourself small. Feeling less than rushing into things blindly. Wow. Okay, so those are the first ones that came out. And forgive is there too, 303. Wow. It's interesting because these colors are also matching up here. Expanded tree, unconditional love is also, there's forgiveness. And forgiveness is often about releasing things, you know. Um, maybe it has to do with a Piscean person, doesn't have to be, could be Gemini. Um, the communication um, for your heart, it's like, so it is, 
you know, it is also the, the cards are showing that there is one-sidedness in a relationship. And so it's, it's okay when you also feel like, you know, um, or, or you could have, you know, and, uh, that there was something wrong and toxic because there was the toxic energy, okay, with this temptation being led astray. Hmm. Um, so re so it's like acknowledging it, but then forgiving and seeing the person as human. And also it's about releasing doesn't mean let things back in. So we got the triangles now. This is weird. It reminds me of like that pop up game where you put the little shapes in and then they would pop up. I don't know what that's about. Like it just popped in my head. <laughs> okay, let's go to the sacred geometry. Hmm, or should I do tarot first? I think I'm going to start with the Sacred Geometry, the second deck, which is for the Visionary Path, also by Francine Hart. So they're by the Egg Flaming Tropicals. Uh -huh. This looks like the Bard of Prey. Oh, there was another song by Fatboy Slim. Well, and Jim Morrison's in it. Bird of Prey, flying high. In the sky. Oh, I did see some Virgo energy in A25. And I forgot to bring up New Year's Eve in 1231. Um, wow. So the Flaming Tropicals. This is about new passion, clearly, to me. Wow. And the Fruit of Life. 81147. So this was pulled for Libra energy and Capricorn as well. Um... But I also see Leo and Aries energy, potentially. Okay, that's what's underneath the deck. So, all right. So, I, I don't remember everything about all these. These are new deck, especially uh, for, the, for the Gemini season. I open these up just special for this. So, I am also learning these as I go. So, um, yeah. We're doing this together. And some of the things, if I do remember... You know, then I will tell you. <laughs> okay, so June's energy. What else do we have for the Aquarians with this sacred geometry? For the visionary path. For this beginning. Okay, yay. Let's take those. The heart, woman. It's about the heart, woman. <laughs> 61, 25, and 52. They fell over here in the time. It's the right timing even. That forgiveness even. So over here, the dodecahedron was the divine thought, but someone was not trusting that even potentially. So you can have Gemini rising, um, Libra rising, Cancer rising, Aries. Doesn't have to be, but I kind of see those. We've also got seven, three. Hmm. And then we have the hands. Aspire, as, ap. Saras, Absaras, hands. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what these ones are. And a new beginning, 31. Oh, wow. There's a baby there again, breathing life into something that is new. It's in reverse here. So the weird thing, guys. So I'm going to take these ones at first. I'm going to set them here. The timing, you know, like overdoing it, not. Always running late. Okay, maybe someone is late. Oh my goodness. Um, but the new beginning, like breathing life into the baby, the stars, it came in reverse. Invoking the infinite, infinity, 31 and 52, 47 again. 7, 7. No, wait, wait. I, so 7, 7, 7. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll get those. That's also like jackpot, inner transformation, partnership, invoking the infant, infinite. I'm pulling a lot of the Libra and Scorpionic too. Um, but up here we got a synchronicity 31 and secret temptation being led astray. You had, I mean, the birth of creation, the birthing portal, and then a completion. So let's read what those are first. And the wild orchids. Wow, these are beautiful. Uh, 1131, 
11, 9. There, the orchid. There's dragonfly on this. I see it looks like, very, that's what's underneath here. This is a completion, the nonagon. I'm all, I believe that's what it was, the completion of something. And then you even had that 9, 9, like a completion. Right? So, let's read this. Okay. Heart woman. <laughs> I always, okay, the weirdest thing, so maybe Nancy is actually someone's name, and that's why I brought that up. Um, oh, crazy Aquarius. Because my brain goes to music in bands, you know, Anne and Nancy and Heart. Ooh, Barracuda. <laughs> um, one of my favorite ones. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to, like, I'm thinking of some of the different songs. These dreams. And ding, 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 ding. Um, but it's straight on. That one's the one I, I like that song a lot. Heart, the band. It's a heart woman. Okay. Okay. Ah, the bridge. It's a bridge to your heart. The Antikarana is the bridge. 1919. 6161. Because interesting enough, like, you know what I mean? 61 is here. Hopefully you guys can see. Oh, and we got the sun shining expanded awareness right here. Okay. Um, this is a symbiosis, right? And maybe feeling like some something was one-sided in a relationship or toxic. Uh, it says, have you lost your connection? 69. Remind yourself to merge each day with wisdom of your higher self. Connecting to your heart, too. Relax. Wow. <laughs> how interesting though i mean it is a 19 card and i see six nine so maybe you're getting it during that time um there's also two six okay aquarian energy two six wait that's not the same one. Oh yeah it's the 26 card so why is it saying 19 on there i'm like all confused okay I'm I'm going to this one first because it's I, I'm it's like I'm going to the ones that are in reversals. Look at this one is shining so beautifully. Oh my gosh, the lotus flowers. Yeah, achievement and completion. Once again, there's more about this completion of something. Unconditional love. The heart. Hmm. Twenty five six seven. Okay, so today is six seven when I'm doing this. So as I flow through, we're going to get some circles of healing messages from Elena Fairchild and artwork by Beth Wilson. Oh, the Wilsons. I brought up Wilson. Wilson Phillips. Oh, my gosh. You know, Wilson Phillips. Hold on. Is that what it is? What is the song? I don't know. I don't listen to it. Well, I don't listen to it. I see 911 5225 Okay. And 6 7. As you resist this completion, you're resisting. You diminish what you have accomplished. Ease into the knowing that everything is temporary and that endings beget new beginnings. This is what this says in reverse. The time. Uh, 2347. <laughs> This is like having too much, not enough time. So you've got to let go of something to have peace. Um, don't It's like taking too much on. Hmm. Resisting letting go of something. So this new beginning. So this is ending and this is new beginning. This is the weird. So uh, maybe this is really in this middle area of the month for you because that's how I'm feeling guided to set it. It could be in the beginning. Um, cause there is this secret temptation. So something needs to be let go of. That's not good for you. Uh, right. Or a person even, you know, I, I mean, I'm just saying if, if some people are bad influences or, you know what I mean? The playful deities, deities, nine anger, what in Cambodia, so when I read them in reverse, it's pretty, when, if they are upright, they have a lot more to say. I want to go to the 19. Why do I think? Oops. 
weird. Why do I see that? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong. Ha <laughs> It's the different book. That's why. Okay. That's why I'm like confused here. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. The breath and prana and birth. Uh, I'm getting like beef. Even this is interesting. I'm pulling in uh, the Akashic Tarot. And the four card, I believe, even three, one, seven, nine, 79. Okay, and 31. 10, 7, 4, 7. 47 again is coming through. Ha! <laughs> okay, guys, your number is 47. There's also the 31 and 79. So that is so interesting. Shallow breathing may contribute to the constriction of life force. Pause whatever you're doing and relax into your breath. Wow. So taking deeper breaths. Uh, the prana, birth and breath. Picture yourself breathing life into new beginnings. Whether you are birthing a child, relationship or creative project, inhale life force. This is interesting. You know, it even makes me think of, you know, CPR type stuff. Huh. Expanded Sri Yantra. 1231. Wow. So New Year's Eve, I saw that before. Okay. Uh, 412 as well. 49 is there too. Okay. Wow, so those are the ones. So I'm going to go to the heart woman now. <laughs> heart woman, 61, infinite. I just saw the infinity site again. Oh, books of related interest by Francine Hart, our sacred geometry coloring book, sacred geometry of nature, Nordic runes. Oh, wait, I had this one here. Paul Rice. What? Related interest. Inner child. Cards, a fairy tell tarot. Oh, I'm interested in that one. Mm, okay. Vermont. So something about Florida was spotlighted too. I keep forgetting to bring that up. Okay. Oscar. Paul. Ariel. Caitlin. What? Caitlin. I brought that. Again. Um, maybe I'll open up the Nordic runes for you guys too. That's a uh, interesting one. I brought that one up and I've shared it with, uh, I, the Leo, but I saw it again with the Capricorn energy. Inner tradition bear and company. These are, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Looking at the whole thing. I feel like I'm getting to the very end of it. Shadow and grace. Ah, there's grace again. 139, 61, heart, woman, inner knowing, and integrity. There, Aries, Gemini. There, yeah, there's definitely Gemini. Maybe Sagittarius as well. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 7, 13 even. Uh, it could be Cancer sign. This is upright, which is really good. Um, this heart woman is filled to bursting with the radiance of universal love and light from within. She holds in her arms three water lilies, which represent our potential for enlightenment. She's surrounded by vibrant feather-like geometry. Yeah, the feathers. Borrowed from a 2006 crop formation. She stands firm in heart essence and here represents the highest and best in us all. This card requests you that you, man or woman, connect with this woman of heart. And you own inner knowing and core integrity how might you more fully embrace life's potential and live wholly from your heart what must come to the surface in order for you to live your personal truth be not afraid release feelings of inadequacy and realize that by the original integrity of your soul you are a powerful being of manifestation you are the beloved child of god perfect and whole nurtured and loved Resolve today to connect with your inner knowing and the reality of your divinity. Wow, this is a very, very, look how pretty uh, in this book. Let's see, this brilliance is fundamental to all beings. 
As you let your gifts shine, you also give other people permission to do the same. As you are liberated from the worry of not being good enough, your presence will, without doubt, liberate others. Allowing your light to be a beacon of support and encouragement in someone's darkness may aid in liberating them from the shadow and dullness that holds many in doubt. Stand fully in your inner knowing and trust the integrity of your heart. Wow. Of your heart. Swallow the sun. I'm also, this is interesting. Because huh? I am also getting the alchemy cards coming forth. So there's a lot of information to look into and you learn about, right? Okay, of course. Um, and so do what feels right for you in being guided. The nucleus is right here in this one. That's interesting. Now I'm looking at the cards that are on play right here uh, on the the cover. Um, yeah, we have the hands here again. Infinite wisdom. I don't think I've seen this one, but it looks like... This is fascinating. Oh, wild orchid. I want to read that one because it was underneath the deck. Piercing the veil. The eleven. Healing the heart, the divine mother. Something hidden. Oh. Lush and verident. These wild orchids honor the exquisite beauty of the plant kingdom. 10, 11, 12. 11, 12. So, and 9, 11. 11, 17 and 8, 11. Eyes look out from two green hearts. And embedded in this card is geometry of the star tetrahedron. However, something is hidden. Eyes. I see him even looking through the plant. Very interesting. Quietly watching and waiting to see what will be revealed. The dragonfly is here to help you dispel illusion. Wow, and you guys, I did see the dragonfly twice. Like two different ones in between. I also saw it for the Capricorn energy. Um... To me, this is also scorpionic, right? Hmm. This is something could be being hidden from you. This card asks you to look within and contemplate about what may be hiding or what is being hidden from you. This is not about intentional deception. There is no sense of trickery or lies. Nevertheless, something you have not considered may be affecting your inquiry. View the beauty of these wild orchids and ask your inner knowing to uncover things hidden so that you may gain a broader perspective of your current situation. Simply recognizing that you are holding back may prompt your awareness to reveal what has been unseen. Your willingness to bring to light things concealed may open the doors of your perception and strengthen your ability to experience the wholeness of the situation. 3-9 as well. Hmm. Very interesting. And, and so... That's saying that something was hidden, right? Uh, and something being revealed. Um, it's interesting because that was what was on the bottom of the deck. So I looked underneath all, you know, and that's what's being revealed. Okay, let's move on to the healing. Am I good, Tarot? We're going to see what how long we're at. 33, 25. Whoa, unconditional love is lighting up right here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. All right, do I want to get the healing circles first? I feel like I should pull tarot first. Let's do tarot. Let's see what's being hidden. <laughs> okay, so as always, take out how it resonates. This is the tarot of the sacred kingdom, the eye. Oh, did I just give you guys, there's another one. It's by uh, the Alan Parsons Project, and it's Eye in the Sky and Sirius. Mm, this is interesting. So Libra Taurus energy as well, okay, Aquarius. I can read your mind. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Alan Parsons Project. I also see the Eye of Horus with this, you know? Uh, whoa, that one. So I shuffle all these. I do something very interesting. I shuffle all these uh, with the Aquarian energy in mind for this monthly. And I kind of hide it from myself so I don't see. And I place it back in the box. <laughs> So it's reset. Four of Cups in reverse. Okay. This one fell, right? So I'm going to pick that up here in a second. Um, this is the pages of these book. You shall find the compass to your calling. A whispered answer that the universe intended for your soul to discover. Weird. I think, didn't I bring up, I brought up the Barracuda. I brought up 
I see like a hammer and head shark, which is really weird. She's under the water. There is definitely emotions. This is like Atlantean or mermaid stuff even. Capricorns was pulling a lot of the watery mermaid stuff. And then we've got this doorway, right? The This is by Florian Bernard and Jennifer Agostini, Earth, Moon, Magic. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what this one is. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Seven, four. <laughs> so, Seven of Pentacles in reverse is about receiving uh, for all of your work you've done. Unconditional love. This could, the what you've spent your money on even, your work, time, effort. If this is about financial stuff. This is even your investments, you know. This is their time of the planting the seeds, right? And, the, and then a uh, time of action when there's growth um, and receiving. Because this is a pause. So this is a taking action now. There's a lot of, um, looks like, kind of looks like sunflowers. A sunflower failed. This is a time where there was a distance and it's coming back around now. The earth, like she's even seeing, I don't know, she's even seeing the earth. 59. I'm going to say that first. That was what came out. I fell in unconditional love. A time of receiving that even. Ecosahedron 58, 66, six, and 59. Wow. Okay. I'm going to say that one here. 7-7. Seven, seven. Wow. Ooh. And then there was that four of cups in reverse. This is a time of getting out of boredom and apathy. And now getting to go, you know, um, um, or regret yeah, eight of wands in reverse, though. Um, 48, coming through again, 84. So I feel like someone doesn't, like, there may not be the communication regarding it. It's just action without telling even or writing it. Because eight of wands is in reverse, three of pentacles. It's, it's like not even writing it down, just intuitively going and doing it. Someone's going to show up even and working on your own creativity or not even, you know, I mean, just I'm saying this is actually collaborating and working um, on whatever creative thing. you And maybe it is with other people because there is a three of pentacles energy, right? Um, but not like not writing it down. This is like just intuitively just flowing, letting it flow. OK, that's what I see under there, but I am going to. Uh, ask the questions for your monthlies for Aquarius to give it another good shuffle. All right. Wow. So that's the first card was a seven, right? And then your first tarot was a seven. Hmm. 25, two, five, seven, 25. Wow. And seven, seven. Okay. So in this beginning of June for the plan energies, what is this message for this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it through the, the whole month for you. This first week energy uh, with this new moon energy in this first week in June. It did fall over here. And there's a completion even. Someone, something has to be let go. Mountain messengers. The messenger. Two of pentacles. Someone has been juggling. This is even juggling multitasking. All these pentacles. So this is about earthly things, finances even. Your investment, money. It could be someone juggling. Yeah, there's not enough time even. 7-2. And the Five of Cups in reverse and Seven of Wands. Okay. Look at all the sevens. So there, pro there was potentially a time of real depression, sadness. Um, but in reverse is someone is blocking or defending. Maybe even protecting you. Protecting yourself from this. Someone could have been very defensive. So I'm even seeing the shift from it being sadness to warrior, you know, to action. We've got defending someone. Maybe it's a cancer sign. I'm pulling lots of cancer sign, actually. <coughs> Aquarian. Huh. Hmm. 50. No way. The five. Five. 42. So, defend, block, protect to come out of um, this re this depression or a sadness. 
Because it is in reverse, so this is good. And birth of a new creation, 6575. Five. And then we've got the 8 there, 5858. So Taurus energy too. Nine of Wands is in reverse, so this is healing. Uh, a sense of needing to be on high defense, putting up security and getting... I feel like when someone's in this energy, they're even in a doomsday thing of everyone. You've got to protect the world as this dangerous and and maybe there this happens because of an experience right where someone was hurt um wounded warrior survivor mode even to me this is even getting like you know guns and security running around making sure putting up your defense but i'm seeing healing that energy and wow, and having new passion. So now we're pulling in the wands. We've got a lot of wands and movement and action. And just laying down a whole bunch because there was too much. Um, maybe. And just picking up the one thing, you know, that you, that you're very passionate about. Nine one. Okay, that's what I see. Wow. Okay, the heart, listening to your heart. Hmm. All right, the heart, woman. Okay, so second week or middle of the week, or excuse me, middle of the month, I see the four of wands in a morning meeting, a completion of a home, completion. The home is where the heart is. Uh, maybe Capricorn. Gemini, seven, eight, even Cancerian, four, four, seven, and four, eight, nine, four, 49. A completion of a home, even. I feel right here. Maybe spending money on a home, you know what I mean? Investing in your home, property, finances. It's a beautiful home here. Juggling, paying the bills, you know, you gotta, all this stuff costs money i'm protecting even your egg your nest egg what you're what you're doing what you're birthing protecting children even or family i'm protecting your home the heart and then letting something else go oh my gosh the devil oh, oh. fear control 415, 25, 725, 77, 715, 76. Well, underneath there, this is something toxic. Um, for some of you, it could particularly be a devil energy. So it's weird. I brought up that girl, like even, you know, then finding out she's a Capricorn, but she's been deceptive. She lied about her age. She's like soliciting little boys. So it's a different type of predator, you know, the Jethro song, Jethro Toll song. I don't know if you guys, I might ruin this for you. <laughs> when you find out what he's singing about, it's really gross. You know what I mean? Um, is it, it's not Aqualung. Yeah, it is Aqualung. Jethro Toll. You know where I'm getting at with these type of things, right? But this is also fear this is also letting someone control you or an addiction to something this could also so something needs to end 325 52 15 15 and her birthday was the 15th i found that fascinating um i've also brought up because as i look at lots of different capricorns right um i'm um so maybe if there's capricorn energy take that how it resonates because there is also maybe Aries with this, right? 47 and 415, 47, 415. But this is fear. This is things that are toxic. Um, The world even, you know what I mean? Protecting the children from the predators. Um, Interesting enough, <laughs> I, I definitely, I have seen things that I'm like are reverse where I've even seen the mother that is like proud and and put it of her daughter putting things out there 
being a sex worker and it's just it's a for me personally it is conflicting because um wanting to protect so in this di dynamic it's also showing that that it's not always uh you can't always judge a book by its color because she looks like this oh cute pretty little girl and she's been lying and telling people she was 14 years old when she was 22 23 messing with 12 year olds and 14 year old boys what the hell in florida what the hell florida <laughs> sorry that's where is the other so you know what i mean so you can't just assume um you know molesters and child pervs come in all races and sexes and uh social economic uh statuses um wow so something needs to be let go regarding your home maybe it is even um not having enough time with something and focus on your heart and the home i see five of swords in reverse someone is trying to let go there is trying to let go. There might have been some really, there's fear. There's the communication, controlling, manipulation. Because we got five of swords in reverse. Five, fifteen, one, five. Okay, I am going to, wow, I went on a rant when I see that. Because I'm sorry, but that's the type of, when that card, they, that, this is monsters. This is what's evil. It is lustful, addictive, harming, manipulating, lying controlling it's not about oh no i'm gonna go to hell because god will be mad at me or it's a sinful to be this way it's just it's that it doesn't bring mm, it's not true love energy um it it hurts um mental and physically individuals involved in things like that right and society also you know Having a drink, having a beer is one thing, you know. It, it's pick your poison too because you can go to the doctor and get a whole bunch of meds. You're, it's it's drugs regardless. Anything you're doing to alter who you and do what you need to do for you, right? All right. Um, but don't be a hypocrite about it. Nine of pentacles in reverse and the death, the devil in reverse. So this person isn't single. Um... That could be part of the temptation of it. Or this person, I see 915 as well. So it could also be Virgos. Doesn't have to be Capricorn. Could be Aries. Could be any of these other. You have to take it how it resonates. Uh, they also are not financially stable on their own. They don't have money. They don't have extra money. Three. They don't even work. They're not willing to collaborate. 9339. Nine of Cups, and there's emotional manipulation. They might be very unloving. And I notice as I'm telling you this, this is the one that is uh, shining up here, the symbiosis, the one, two, two, one, um, the 19, Antikarana. It was even saying that there was something toxic and one-sided in that relationship. And that's what I'm saying as I'm talking about... Um, I mean, it's come forth that there was a little, she's being charged with lots of things. Um, so it's a feminine energy, right? That isn't, uh, that is a predator in this. Hmm. Anyways, anyways, in that dynamic, it doesn't have to be, okay, take it how it resonates. I'm just giving you the story, the example. Um, but I find that really interesting. All right, so someone needing to let something go or holding on to something, and it always ends up being late, uh, you know, running around too much on your plate, so you got to let go of something. And then for this, it's the ending is then the new beginning, okay? Invoking the infinite. It's like this never ending, you know, the infinity, <laughs> infinity, infinity. So ending is new beginning, you know. All right. So I'm going to continue with this. All right, what else? The Two of Cups in reverse and Seven of Cups in reverse. Oh, gosh. And the lovers. Oh, boy. 
Okay, so there is someone that I feel like maybe you thought was a soulmate. Wow. 42 again. Four. All right. Um, there could have been a time of, there was the keeping options open. I'm seeing someone needs to let go of maybe the a soulmate. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. I don't know. 4-2. Uh, for this new beginning, maybe there is, you know, something new being birthed or something. This is needing to make a commitment, you know, because uh, polygamy and mul multiple uh, baby mama, baby daddy scenarios just, it's not two of cups, is it? Um Seven of Cups in reverse is getting clarity and making that final choice towards a lover, okay? So I'm seeing letting a certain soulmate go, okay? Uh, for a new beginning and co even commitment with a lover. Wow. Seven, six. So could be Cancerian, could be Gemini energy. Um, this new beginning is getting clarity, so there was, it could be Piscean too, because there was a looking at all your options of where, huh? And this is the completion. Um, This is looking for love, like true love. 89, five, six. So I bring up all those and what's been hidden. Okay. That's beautiful. So there was something that wasn't, right? Queen of Pentacles is upright. Okay, this is interesting. All right, I see Queen of Pentacles. I look under the deck. I see Queen of Pentacles is upright. Man, maintaining, very abundant, creating. Um, there's a lot of luxury. There's lights, sparkles, uh, earthly, right? So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I see I see Capricorn. A lot of Capricorn actually. So keep that in mind that I'm not calling out that it's a Capricorn person. And it might be. Understand, you can have someone of the same sign, two different Capricorns, and one is in their power and wise and generous and smart with our money and knows how to create a beautiful home, clothing, luxury, and another one is greedy. And um, never wants to share, you know, and um, even sloppy, very sloppy, um, hoardy. Um, very me, 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 like greed, gold digger. Some reason the Kanye West song popped in. I'm like, only Kanye West. I know two songs. It's uh, Stronger. <laughs> and that's also Daft Punk. Harder, stronger, faster. Uh, but, and then... Um, gold digger she think I'm <laughs> okay that was what's under there uh and then i see eight of cups in reverse so someone cannot let go there is unconditional love there's an emotional bond for something because eight of cups is not being able to let go of the emotions and walk away so i feel like that's a sense of feeling like that is okay aquarius two eight and two four um unconditional love even and even if you they even if you're not together an, an unconditional love bond is also um there even in a, a sense of separation hmm okay that's what i see underneath there wow okay, it's okay. so let's finish this up with this final uh the ending of june's messages for the Aquarian energies that are tuned into this before I move on to the other messages from the animals and the circles of healing. Hmm. All right, a good shuffle. So this final message for the ending of June. Okay, two of wands, four of cups, nine of swords. Oh, ten of pentacles. Oh, dang. In reverse. Okay, so someone was at a crossroads with something. Things were not balanced and fair. The symbiosis, right? Um, hmm. This is at a crossroads. 
of a different direction. So maybe even looking at your options in one sense is, um, you have, this is a time of knowing that you've taken action towards something, but now there are two different ways you can go. You can always turn around and maybe, um, as you're moving forward, it starts getting boring, uh, feeling regret. There's like a sense of potentially feeling regret over a choice. Cause there's a sense of, um, or even being really bored with this. Um, whoa, Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. So there might be a lot of anxiety, staying up late at night, stressing out about legacy, about property, about losing a huge amount. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. And there's anxiety for even this morning meeting, early in the morning, 10-9 and 9-10. 1-7. Weird. We've also got 12-10 and 10-12. So a little Sagittarian as well. And Libra energy. 7-10. Can't see in. 4-10. Anxiety. Well, let's not end the month like that. Let's find out. I'm going to find out why more. There's potential. Uh, Page of Swords. Because there's potential gossip about this. There could be... Uh, someone spying, stalking, looking in on something, um, potentially gossiping about this. Um, this information is inaccurate or something. You know what I mean? It's slanderish. Um, oh, it could be a cancer or about a car. About no one not having a car or taking a trip. I feel like it's someone who didn't go with you or they didn't travel or they don't have the vehicle. They didn't go take a trip. But so there's they're talking or stalking. Two of swords in reverse. The decision made. Um, maybe to stay with the children. Or there is this unconditional love with the children. A page of cups is there. A fool. Very novice. Um Practicing something, wanting a new, uh, maybe it's an Aries or a water sign, um, child, Scorpio, Cancer, Piscean. Oh, I am seeing them wanting to take a leap into the unknown and try something new. Maybe that's the whole thing with this empathy or boredom. And it's a fear of like, maybe this is a, tradi a traditional thing. Maybe wanting to leave a business or a company or uh, judgment in reverse shows as well that I, I'm seeing someone not having some wake up call or their the judgment comes down and so they're found guilty. Uh judgment in reverse is uh, not getting a second chance at something because the judgment comes in. So even when I bring up those court things, this person guilty. Whoa, judgment in reverse and justice upright. Wow. Um which seems like opposites, right? But this is actually so let's find out about this. Potentially Someone could have been looking in at someone else stalking and gossiping um, about their car, about a trip, about a move, or about a cancer sign. That's what I got. Hmm. 47. Again, wow. And 24. Okay. Um, I see that they're, they're, someone's, maybe they're talking about this because someone made a decision even to leave this expanded awareness that you're really tied down and trapped to even is it maybe someone wanting something new they're bored with but this is a huge loss there's fear of this so a decision made even for a child for the, what the welfare of a child jumping into the unknown um because there was someone found guilty or something, not having getting a second chance. I'm also seeing 220. Wow. I'm seeing 2022 that happened or something. Judgment can come down 920. So interesting enough, Aquarius, like. 220, I believe. I think that that's Kurt Cobain's birthday. That's a little Piscean. Hmm. So, 
and 10 to 102. Okay. Maybe it's even a child having anxiety or getting up late at night. There's fear over that. You know, um, anxiety about a decision that was made. There's, there's a sense of worry that there's going to be regret that people know gossip over something. So into the unknown judgment call is that someone's not getting a second chance and there's something new coming because um, they're found guilty. So justice is upright. That shows that this is what's fair and what's right, even detaching emotionally and making the right. So justice is served. The justice is served. Uh, maybe there is gossip and, and lies or slander even about someone taking a different direction, different path to 11. The sun in reverse. Wow. So someone's very unhappy. So we've got the chariot and the sun reverse. So no movement, not taking action. Um, they're unhappy. Maybe someone doesn't have clarity on this. There's apathy and boredom. 1118 could be with a Scorpio. Um, but we've got Leo Cancer on the board as well. Libra. Libra looks upright. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone know it's making a decision that they don't want to fight or compete regarding oh, even legacy, a business, property, um, houses. Cause there was competing and fighting over this potentially two five. And what do we got here? 19, 18, 11, 18, 5, 18. Mm. No fighting, no competing. Okay, Page of Cups even. This is even a child. Um, so there is compassion, unconditional love even. This child is very, very loving, very innocent. There's innocence, even very foolish. They don't understand certain things. Um, and they're about not being foolish about things like this. Uh, Queen of Wands is upright, taking action, creating, collaborating. She has lots of confidence. Um, creating uh, and they're beautiful stuff. So whether it's Leo, Aries, I was saying an Aries because I'm putting by the fool here, okay? And this child, three of pentacles, work and maybe work and strength. So yeah, there's Leo too. Whoa, okay. So regardless of your person or you, right? Take it how it resonates. Um, really working and collaborating to create something new, even, even jumping in and trying something brand new, uh, ha having the strength, overcoming fear, confidence. Okay. I also see 320. Okay. Maybe that's Aries energy too. Um, three, eight, maybe some Piscean 820. Ah, eight, eight strength okay even not not sharing not not writing it not communicating not telling queen of this so now we've got a different queen of pentacles in reverse right so understand what i was saying someone doesn't have like their i feel like that's also understanding they don't they're that's why they're stalking spying it's someone you don't have communication with you don't you don't write to each other and they're feeling um they're they're unhappy they could also be a leo um or they're a child how about that they could also be a cancer they don't have a car they can't go on this move they're bored this is even like i said that gold digger energy feeling in a lack mentality feeling like it's a heavy burden they're feeling like they're doing a whole bunch of work she's looking and they're not receiving the information or the the messages maybe someone has like you know messaged you or um and you've not responded or you or them even we got a heavy burning ten of wands see it's like they are it's you feel this heavy burning even um with this person who potentially you fought with or could be and this could be a Taurus. i'm seeing five ten and ten five with this queen of pentacles um ten five again yeah 105 even Six of Cups. Okay, upright is good. So this is a lot of work. Someone, you know, the Ten of Wands is doing it all on your own, even constantly feeling like it's a burden, not wanting to fight, it's like turning your back and just doing 
work and not there's not communicating here queen of wands is upright someone from your childhood past nostalgia good memories of she's very confident very loving and um, very beautiful and there's charisma charming uh, go-getter she shines and without needing to get attention by flaunting her shiznit okay girls we all got you know what i mean <laughs> yeah this is knowing your your power um of your sexual energy even and uh having self uh, confidence and re self respect i see 63 or so even from your past 10616 so it could have some gemini energy even um with this queen of wands someone from your childhood nostalgia and there is that Queen of Cups is in reverse with this, and Eight of Cups is in reverse. Someone can't let go of some heavy emotions. Um, wow, this came through again. So someone's trying to work and collaborate with someone here, right? And they're just playing a victim. They they cannot overcome these emotions. Um, it could be even toxic stuff with drinking, right? Or um, um, just heavy emotions be drugging they're they're sitting in this three eight i'm seeing a lot of piscean six eight six eight maybe gemini also 83 eight, eight. 820 yeah maybe they're upset because they're not getting a second chance they're they're not i'm seeing these this energy is the one not having a wake up call they're holding on to these emotions. I'm trying to have strength. About a Leo, even 8-8. Eight, eight. Judgment call. 11-8, even Scorpionic. Huh. 68, 6-8. Six, okay. Oh, now I see why. As I'm like looking at it, they feel very betrayed. This is the completion. Ten of Swords. Um, so there's like, there is a lot of tears. They feel like backstabbed, betrayed. Maybe you had to do with gossip, talking. Ten of Swords is uh, that ending of it and just being done. How weird though, but the world is in reverse. 10, 21, 3, 10. Wow. So 2010 even or, t huh. So it's not over yet because it is upright, which means um, it still hurts very much. And that's why there's even maybe this energy. I see 810 as well. 810 again, yeah. So this is finding out some of this information maybe even or they feel that way and that's why they're. So this isn't over with this person or they don't think things are completed yet that's uh that is the truth and clarity they're they they're still it's still a heavy burden uh, i'm saying you see what i'm saying with this 10 2 and 2 10 again 10 21 ace of swords upright truth clarity and victory uh victory feeling victorious successful uh 6 6 1 6 this queen of wands even and the six of cups Someone from your chast, your chast, your past nostalgia. Yeah, I'm saying it is not being a knight of wands energy. That's the player energy. She's like up on her horse. Not running around being a player in all wee hours. Um, maybe this person isn't married though. Or the hierophant is in reverse. So... Broken a vow or commitment. I see them coming in with a gift or an offer receiving. After they're done healing, maybe even giving you something to help you uh, with any type of healing work or medical stuff or, um, you know what I mean? Or once they're done, it's like a pay it forward. Okay. Wow, Aquarius. I just read those. What are we on time? 109.29. I think I'm going to end it there. Um, so we got the sacred geometry. I'm just saying. 
What's next? What's next? Um, the circles of healing and then the animal messages in your part three for your month of June. Okay, Aquarians. Thank you so much. I hope that has given some understanding, clarification. And um, you can check the description to go to the next video or come back another day. Uh, and and check my channel. Also, you can look out the um, pick a card, uh, pick a character, pick a crystal messages I will be doing for... Um, once I finish the monthlies, thank you all so much. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.